Hi guys, it's Chris at Cork and Crown, back in my cider shed with some more cider to try. And it's something unusual, it's something I've had before, but it came in the box from Craftcon, uh, it's from uh, Martin Berkling, Pilton Cider, and it is Pom Pom. Uh, and I think I even filmed this, but way back in the day, I can't remember what number the video is, I might look it up. Um, Somerset Keef Cider with Quince, 4.8%. This fruity cider brings together bittersweet cider apples with their pom family third cousin, the quince. The unique tart astringency of the quince is balanced here by the natural fruity sweetness of our classic keef cider. So I guess they're blending it with the Pilton, which is their cl classic Somerset cider, keef cider. I got the sheet as well. Anything different here? Keef's for ba 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 No, it says exactly the same thing on the sheet as it says on the bottle. So let's open it. It's not super cold. Will it blow up? I don't think so. Martin stuff doesn't tend to be super explosive so yeah seems all right oh well. pop smoking gun look at that that was a nice pop some nice bubbles coming up there as well I don't even see that got me big glass got the big glass out today I do like these glasses <clears throat> nice head which is expect so does he dose it or is it pet nat I mean if it's keeved you expect it to be a pet nat because that's a traditional thing with keeves it. So it's, it's, a, it's much thicker, I'm looking through a much thicker glass, actually, the colour on that. It's pretty gorgeous, actually. Beautiful amber. Beautiful, bright amber. Uh, it'll be unfiltered, uh, but the keeving process will uh, fine it. I assume that's the case, anyway. Uh, gorgeous looking thing. Absolutely wonderful. Let's swirl it around and smell it. Great glass, that. I love it. Oh, yeah, man. That's actually got a smell of well, honey. Obviously honey. In fact, honey's the main thing I'm getting, and I like that. I really like that. I don't remember getting such a kick of honey last time. I think it's the quince burning with the apple. It just makes it smell like really great honey. <sighs> to be honest, all I can smell is wonderful, rich honey on the nose. I can't get much else. <sighs> no, so let's stick with that, shall we? It smells like honey. How bad can that be? I love honey. Raymond's not been here since they got back from holiday. Uh, the nest's grown in size, but Raymond is nowhere to be seen. Don't know where. I don't know where he slash she is. Yep. Hopefully we'll see Raymond again, but maybe not. Anyway, let's try it. Quite tannic. But soft tanning, so stringent on the teeth. A little bit of squeakiness, but that's nice. I like it. There's more apple character on the on the palate than there was on the nose for sure. And the quince is there in the background. And that, that is the quince element is what's making me think of honey. Definitely, I'm tasting it on the palate as well. Really sympathetically good done. I'm, I flip flop when it comes to core ferments because sometimes I just think you can't. There's so much going on you can't really isolate anything. You know. It's like a one pot wonder. Throw everything, see what you come up with. So, and, and often, I, you know, a good chef will just throw everything into a pot. Don't know exactly what the result's going to be when they're doing it, you know, because anybody could, you know, otherwise, it's just look, you know, what it tastes like. And you're tasting people's experiments. Um, however, this, man, yeah, the honey character on the nose is awesome. Really great nose. I mean, great nose. I love it. And the quince, that delicate quince, does bring a little bit of astringency to this, more than you'd get in a keep cider. And it is adding that slightly more honey dimension to it, which I like. Really subtly done. So a really nice base cider, really and actually enhanced by that small addition of quince to make something that's actually greater than the sum of its parts. And that's what core ferments are all about. That's what you should do when you make things. If you're going to add things, the things should enhance, you know, the base products should be enhanced to buy them, you know, like adding seasoning to food, you know, to lift the other flavours. That's what it's about. It's not always a thing that people get right, you know, and it's not an easy thing to do. Um, more isn't always more, less can be more. In this instance, though, this is an absolutely delicious, it's a warm night tonight. This is a delicious thing to drink on a warm night. 4.8%, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, pom pom. To be honest, I think this might be a different vintage than what I had before because it's quite a while since I had it. So I assume it's a different vintage. And I don't remember getting that kick of honey. But I'm going to look, try and find the old video if I've, made, if I've made one. And see if I can you know, see what I thought of it. Alright guys. Thanks for joining me in my shed with my massive glass. I hope you join me again. 
But until then, cheers. <laughs>